this secret anonymously. Uh, you streaming tomorrow? Of course I'm streaming tomorrow, man. I'm streaming every day until, uh, what day? What's five days from Tuesday, chat? I really don't even know. What's five days from Tuesday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm streaming every day until Saturday. Maybe even more, bro, because I'm thinking about it. I always stream on, wait, is Sunday Mother's Day? Yo, what are y'all getting your moms for Mother's Day, bro? Dude, this like the first year like I low-key got bread, you feel me? So I feel like I gotta actually get my mom something, bro. I don't know, man. Uh dude, I don't know, bro. I don't know what the fuck I could get my mom. I'm dropping a hundred on my moms. You a real ass nigga, bro. Don't have a mom? It's all good, bro. I uh write down the date and time of every time I go poop. I have done so for the last I think four years. So why would you just come on a YouTube channel and just admit that? And is this a nigga? <laughs> is this a nigga or I'm tweaking? There was a brief period of time in my early 20s where I had five boyfriends at the same time. Fuck they females, all believed bro. that they were my boyfriends. Fuck women, bro. And I guess they all were depending on the day. That's fucked up. Um, my secret is is that I sold a bunch of feet photos during the pandemic to make a lot of money. I feel like I respect that. No, I respect that, bro. Like, it's just your feet. You feel me? It's just your feet. If niggas trying to, if your face not even in it, bro, fuck it. I respect that, bro. Dude, did niggas, um, would y'all let your girl sell feet pics, though? Like, let's say she had mad niggas DMing her, asking her for pictures of her toes. Would y'all let your girl sell feet pics? Yeah, hell yeah. Man, I don't know, bro. I don't know if I want niggas. Gonna get fake tats on my feet and some nail polish. Yeah, you're a freak. Um, they were very willing gang, to pay Thank me, you for the sub, and big deal. Very willing to sell my photos. So when I was a kid, thank you for putting uh, your me and my brothers, we used to uh, eat our grandfather's cigar ashes. We used to eat a bunch of other weird stuff like talcum powder, tree bark. But yeah, no, the cigar ash Niggas brothers is fucking... What the fuck? What's cigar ashes? That's like the shit when you like put it out, right? The ashes, fuck? They, uh, they had such a distinguished flavor Lung to Lung cancer? So. Dead ass. <sighs> That's probably why I smoke now. <laughs> I'm in love with my best friend. Bro, that's cool, bro. What the fuck? Nigga, chat, bro. Like, that happens to a lot of niggas. I know a lot of gang, niggas that was in love with their friends. Gang, gang, Junior with the eight months. Gang, gang, my gang, fucking gang. nigga. Thank you, Junior. Big What's eight good months, you said. I've had a crush on one of my closest friends for like two years now. Pussy. I still have feelings for my high school ex. Pussy. I'm still in love with my ex. I hired a voodoo witch on Etsy to cast a love spell on my ex. Why they blur it out, bro? She gonna cast a spell on me if I see her? Why the fuck did they blur it out? No, this actually tweaking with me, though. Why did they blur her out, bro? That's actually scary. Why did they blur her out? Hello? The fuck? And I casted it about two weeks ago, so we're still waiting to see if it works. Um, my ex-boyfriend let my house on fire. Dude, what is this city? Why did their voices sound like this? Are these just straight niggas? What's going on? What you mean, size? I'm not on Devour tonight, no. I am. Okay, so this one time I was out in West Hollywood with a friend. This is California. She got really I drunk, think. so I brought her home, and she started throwing up right in my living room, and I held her hair back, but the smell was oh, so I bad was that I ended crazy. up throwing okay. up on her head thank god okay he just threw up i thought he was about to say something crazy bro oh my god i thought and he was about to i say never something had crazy. the guts to tell her about it i thought he was about so to once say in college crazy. i was sitting near my english professor and he had a long sticker on his butt cheek that had the pants size and i kept trying to single to signal to him that he had it on and i kept pointing to his butt cheek and he didn't really get it and then i kind of just started pointing to mine and then he started getting clustered and admittedly kind of uncomfortable and he really wouldn't get it and so then I just kind of like got closer to him and like kind of like turned my body and kind of showed him like kind of my butt cheek area and pointed to mine and then to his and then he finally got it but it kind of took a second and I'm see niggas sure. is weird though real shit though because if y'all teacher got like their tag left on their clothes are you even telling them I don't give a fuck let that nigga have his tag on the fuck nigga 
what I gotta tell Brody for? He a grown ass man. He thought that I was trying to hit on him in a really horrible Hello? way in front of everybody. So, English class. The fuck? No, I had some bad teachers before though, bro. Okay, Real I think that I've honestly peed my pants more than like the average adult person has peed their pants in their life. Like probably five times since I've turned 18. I've done that too. Five times since I turned 18 for sure. On God, I've done at least five times since I turned 18. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? Lizzo concert? What? How can we not? <laughs> Is that crazy? You're 20? Yeah, that's like two and a half years. That's like what? Two and a half years is what? 18? No, 30 months, bro. That's once every six months. That's literally normal, bro. Once every six months isn't even bad. It's just who I am. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, and she showed her face, you pisser. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, I am, Aaron. All right, my anonymous secret is I used to grow a ton of marijuana before it became legal. And I was doing this all... Is it crazy that I could tell he's Hispanic by the way he said legal? Like, I don't know why. Like, Hispanic niggas be saying L like, like a certain way, bro. I don't know. Grow a ton of marijuana before it became legal. And I was doing this all while I was a middle school teacher. And I did that for about... Mm, Is that racist? I don't think that's years. racist, bro. And made a ton of cash. I don't think that's racist. Okay. So, when I was little... I never thought the happiest place on earth was Disneyland. I always thought it was McDonald's and Di <laughs> You fat bitch, what the fuck? Yo, what bro? Disneyland was second. Dude. So when I was little, Hello? my dream job was to work at McDonald's, specifically to make the french fries and work in the window. It's on earth like it had the Ooh. playground and then they had the fries and the little happy meal toys and then it was just it, it had everything Chad, imagine your dream job being working at mcdonald's uh when i was a kid i still do this what's for dinner tn no chicken or mcdonald's uh indian food whenever i'm at museums or Chad, like, what would y'all dream stuff, jobs as i a always kid? try and touch every single thing especially when it says no touch Ah, my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, once I stole a really cool looking napkin ring from an open What's house a napkin ring? when I was like eight years old and I felt so bad. YouTuber? Oh, hell no. Your dream was a YouTuber? Dude, my, my like dream job first, dude, I really thought this was a real job, bro. I used to tell the teacher at school I wanted to be a video game tester. I was actually an idiot, bro. But, bro, who is gonna, like, that's not a job niggas gonna actually do, though. You feel me? I think my girlfriend is in love with her ex, and Damn, I ignore it. Damn, she built like the dude from Monsters, Inc. What's the blue nigga name? Got that type of, like, hunch build. My best friend told me that he was in love with me, and I felt the same way, but I never told him that I loved him, too. This is why I don't like women. Like, what, bro? This is dead ass why I like, like, bro, like, what the fuck, my nigga? Like, what, bro? Hello? When I was 15, I was in a school shooting at my high school, and I feel like I never fully um, got over my PTSD, and every day I live, I always have a fear that somewhere... Stop freezing, nigga, damn! Dude! Oh my god, I'm actually about to go to the fuck? Um, I say I don't like children and I don't want them ever, but I think I'm just secretly afraid I'll mess them up like my parents messed me up. <laughs> we don't care, bitch. One secret that I don't really tell people, except for my closest friends, is that I have really bad social anxiety. I've gotten really good at pretending Dude, what does that even mean? like just I'm really social, but people? I'm actually not. And I'm always viewing myself through other people's eyes and it's really stressful so wow. this trip with my friends i'm trying to just be myself and like not think Lose about makeup. anything too much so i am a trans woman okay. and i have not come out to uh, a whole lot of people yet how am i dumb nigga how could you not tell if you a nigga and you become a girl what you mean you didn't i don't think you gotta tell niggas 
they could look at you and be like, bro, what's good? You a girl now. Am I stupid? The fuck you gonna tell them, nigga? Like, they a girl now. The fuck? Am I tweaking? Um, so, yeah. And my name is Isabella. Bro, I'm not even trying to be fucked up. How could they not tell? I'm not even trying to be fucked up, bro. How could they not tell, bro? I'm not even trying to be fucked up. So, all my life, I've really sacrificed everything for everyone else, um, doing all I could to make everyone happy and feel loved. And Is it um, bad, Chad? Do y'all be doing that? Do y'all be, like, doing shit for other people and not caring about what you... Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm taking care of myself first, bitch-ass nigga. The fuck? That was the okay fuck, up until, like, the other day, my mom told me that she didn't want me in her life and that I was a mess. That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. That just caught me off guard. That literally just caught me off guard. Chill. On God, that's not funny. That just caught me so off guard, bro. On God, that's not funny. That caught me so off guard. And basically Dude. saying I wasn't lovable. That's and I crazy. Just How could your mom that say that, bro? Making those sacrifices aren't Dude. always deserved. Oh my um, God. And I do love her, but that's I'm going to live my life for me. Dude. Even if it scares me, even oh, if it nah. doesn't get approval from anyone else, because this is my life. Facts. Um, turn around. Let me see if you bad or not. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Please, bro. What the fuck you leaving for, man? Fuck. Imagine your parents call you a failure. What are you doing? A oh, whole house getting aired out. The fuck? <laughs> whole house getting aired out. Are you crazy? It's called me a failure. It's over. This is a, a little bit of a, a secret that I've had since he watches anime. I don't know if that's some Naruto shit on his back. I could just tell by his build he watches anime though. So I was a lot younger. Um, I've always kind of struggled internally with like masculine and feminine energy. I've always damn. How many of y'all niggas in the chat want to be, be a female? You know, like way more masculine honest, and uh, not be so honest. like sensitive and and not so feminine uh according to like a lot of my you know cultural upbringing if you put in dots you at the top of my list for like possible niggas that want to be female i'm gonna be real if we had a list you would be at the tippity top i'm not even trying to be like fucked up you really at the top of my shit up so uh it was something that i used to struggle with a lot and um as, as a kid i did a lot of martial arts i used to literally go into my uh Go to my mom's. Dude, karate like, was so far. Gra grab all her, like a bunch of her clothes and uh, put on all of her clothes and then hit the crap out of stuff to try to like kill like the feminine energy inside of me. Yeah, it was, it was always really, really tough. But what the fuck? Yo, nigga, I'm gonna be real. I never, I mean, I'm gonna be real. I wore, I wore like my sister tights before just to see how they feel when I was like eight years old, bro. But that was like the most, bro. I never did nothing else. As I got older, I kind of accepted that a whole lot more. Chill out. That's not even gay, though, because it wasn't even like that. Chill out. It wasn't even on some gay shit, bro. It wasn't even on some gay shit. Chill out, bro. Chill and, out. Uh, it wasn't. I actually on ended God, up it opening up a, a Muay Thai God, gym to where I can have like a, a really safe space on to, God, be it wasn't. Don't both, do that, to let out Don't my do that. masculine energy when needed. Damn, Chad. Y'all uh, think that Brazilian nigga Gustavo on Fortnite right now? What do y'all think is the chances? my feminine being as I am without oh shit mother days in two days dude I'm without broke feeling bad about myself what time is it is it is it in birds what time is um my dad my parents disowned me when I was 18 for not being Christian Damn. I'm 25 now Damn. and I've done a lot of healing Damn. and Damn. Um, made a lot of progress. Dude, if I got disowned, bro, I'm going to just be honest, bro. I'm going to get rich and then buy those niggas' house and then make them homeless, if we being honest. Forgiveness, but I kind of wear this face that I don't give a f that they disown me, that I don't care, that, you know, I that I hate them, but deep down... Imagine I you get disowned, I want dude. more than anything to my dad just to tell me that he loves me. That's not funny, dude. That's deep, yo. That's actually deep, bro. Holy fuck. That's some deep ass shit, nigga. Damn. So, 
When I was 16 years old, Bad I was pencil. with my boyfriend. I realized that I accidentally got pregnant. Did she say 16? Yo, imagine you got pregnant when you were 16, bro. I'm taking a deep dive down the stairs. I'm not going to lie. Landed straight on my belly. Swear to God. I thought my parents were going to take it well because they're very liberal. And it was kind of the contrary. They were extremely disappointed with me and Damn. they immediately shut me down. I didn't Damn. feel supported whatsoever. So, of course, I decided to abort. Damn. And uh, as soon as I decided that, they told me that under absolutely no circumstance, I was to ever told tell anyone about my abortion and about the whole experience Damn, not bro. my best friends dude if y'all like all my niggas chat all my niggas in the chat if y'all had sex you know what i'm saying for the first time y'all would do it raw like niggas got no brains bro why would you do that like how stupid are you bro like how dumb are you bro like come on dude not my yes friends. yeah you're an idiot bro good luck bro <laughs> good fucking luck and not even my boyfriend, not my brother, not my family members, no one. So I felt absolutely... I did. Big Theodore 4L. You have never had sex, my nigga. Don't even... We don't need to get into this conversation, dude. We don't need to start doing this. I'm not even going to argue with you. Alone at 16 years old. And I felt like I've been carrying this absolutely massive secret with me. Uh, because I was even told to lie. Yeah, are they pregnant? In, in girls at your school, I... I'm not gonna lie, I don't care this much. That was cool though. 